Hi, welcome to episode 6 of VLSI Gyan. So today I have two interesting questions. First question is that what roughly I am doing in VLSI industry and about all other my friends and what you may gonna do when you join a VLSI industry. And second question is my first person review of those 6 months at VLSI industry. It is interesting, right? So like this video right now and I am starting. Hey new people, I'm Rajdeep. Currently, I'm appointed as CAD engineer at Intel. So what exactly we do? Our team at Intel is roughly a R&D team at backend. We design our own test chip and which range from 20 nanometer nodes to 18 Armstrong nodes. And also we support other team by developing the flow for design automation. Test chip are as name suggests, they are designed to test some specific functionality like we have designed one capacitor in some specific node then if that capacitor it's working as we want we develop the test chip and test chip are not like we do something from scratch test chip are the incremental change like in this design you did this tweaking and you got the result and you find out no this tweaking is not helpful then you do some other tweaking so like this wise we develop test chip step by step so when i joined intel fortunately i got into one project where we are developing one test chip there the main work i did is after the design upgradation i need to check for the error and then i need to correct those errors and correct those error in layout you can see this picture how complex it might be it's not so complex but you need to take care of everything you need to be too sincere to correct any layout here and there because for example you want to drop some via because via are missing from that portion and if you don't know via via are simple thing like if if you have two metal going metal one is going here and metal two is going here and you want to connect these two then what we do we drill these two metal and connect them that drilling is called the via so if you want to drop the via and you are dropping via without the sincerity then you might short that two connection because that metal one and metal two might be some different signals or maybe one is your power one is your ground and you just unsincerely you dropped via then that power and ground got shorted and who will tell you that you have shorted that design is your lbs check layout versus schematic check so there i have run many iteration of those lbs and drc check drc check is also important because drc check that the design you are doing it's okay for the fabrication because if you design something here like one metal layer is here and another is just adjacent to it and the minimum spacing is not met as per your foundry specification then that foundry people can't fabricate that design so that's why drc runs are also important and after that i also learned one automation language in cadence and that is called skill so i have learned that automation language i am not an expert on that language yet but i with the help of my seniors or my colleagues i tried to develop one or two automation flow also and additionally also i helped on full chip integration like many people have developed their block separately after you integrate them you might see some other error so my work is to report those errors to the block owner or if i can correct them i need to correct those errors and then i have few friends on product validation sides so what they do they generally develop the test bench and they do develop the test bench to validate the design pre-silicon or post-silicon and silicon means it is got fabricated like if it is before you are testing it then it will be called pre-silicon and after the fabrication if you are testing that circuit then it is called post-silicon and then i have few friends on front end also so in front end generally what they do they likewise in back end they improve the design on pre-existing design like many of my friends are upgrading the rtl cores which are already there but they just need to add few more speciality to those design and then i have called one of my friends she is working on max linear and she is a rfic or slash analog engineer for her she need to clear her all concepts of analog engineering so each day they need to refer the book by rajabi and many other books for example right now they are, they are developing one of the front end of a rf receiver and they are she need to design one comparator 
and to designing that comparator now she is referring many research paper like if she can implement those idea on those research paper to her design and she is little bit uncomfortable right now but at the end of the day as in my last video i said you are learning the skill you may feel uncomfortable and feeling uncomfortable is okay because we know we are in wrong place if we feel comfortable all the time because only by feeling uncomfortable you are going beyond your comfort zone and that means you are growing in vilesa industry we have two methodology to integrate any fresher into the industry and that is one is training based like they will give you first one or two month training without any work and then you will start doing your work and second methodology is they will give you the work you need to learn it and you need to use in your work every day and i was on the second methodology and second methodology has the pro and that is you will accomplish more work compared to the first and accomplishing more work in the initial days will boost your confidence but this thing is not in your hand and both are okay okay few some cons are there some pro are there for both the methodology the main con of the second methodology like working and learning is that sometime you will feel overwhelmed like for me for first one or two month was little tough because i was learning the new thing and i don't know if i'm learning it correctly or not and i need to work on the real time projects also so it was little risky because i can't do any mistake there and now it's six months also and then also i have learned a very little version of the vlsi design spectrum and this is normal you need time to learn this cutting edge technology so give yourself time as i am giving myself and as a fresher it is obviously that the work which they will assign to you will be the most lengthy most boring one but for you it's not boring because for you it's a new work and it will give you opportunity to learn more so take any work they give you do it do it do it give yourself time one day you will get the best possible work and the best thing i found in industry compared to my college is that during any project in my college if i stuck in somewhere it is like i'm stuck there for one two three days because professors are not so much accessible and my friends are of the same knowledge as i am so it was very tough for me to handle that issue and go forward but in industry if you'd stuck in any places then there are all expert in your team they can help you they can make you learn new thing so it is very enjoying here because you don't need to scratch your hair for one or two day for a simple error you just need to ask your and it is a very important part to define your work is work life balanced or not and if i roughly tell you the difference between like it job in initial phase and vlsi job because i have worked on it also so in it all the service based company in general there are some exception but in general all the it service based jobs they required you to have the logic they don't deal to it the concepts of computer science or the theory of computer science they only need your logic if you are a logical human being you will find it service based not product based company service based job very relaxing because you just need to code your logic which you are thinking but contrary to vlsi product here you need to have in your back of mind the concepts also if you don't have concepts then only logic won't help you to go through so that's why in initial phase vlsi jobs are little tricky but that's are the same for everybody so nobody will beat you to go fast everybody will give you ample time to learn the thing to do the mistakes and then again go for the next mistakes so it's okay and as a uh, as a fresher i face another problem that is i felt like all my freedom are gone because in my college days i can take any time vacation i can do anything whatever i want but in the corporate sector you can't take vacation when you need you need to ask your manager beforehand then he will tell okay you can go because our project are not in that emergency stages and that is a common factor for any job and that you need to know now we are adult 
So there would be some discipline you need to follow and we can't do anything about this thing. So I'm just accepting this thing because I also don't f uh, feel uh, good about this thing that uh, to take a vacation, I need, I need to ask manager beforehand. But that's a life, bro. If you need to have your rice and roti in thali, you need to work. So that's a normal life. And yes, there is another interesting topic and that is PSU VLSI job or electronics job versus the MNC or corporate electronics jobs. If you are interested, I have few of my friends working on PSU. I can talk to them and I can give you some overview. Like is a PSU exactly a good option for you than the corporate sector? So comment it down if you want to know this thing. And till then, take care, keep learning and bye bye.